Hello everybody. It is a great day today and I like to open my Bible along with you and study the word of God. Thank you for joining with me, clicking on this video. You are doing it because you love God and you love God's word. Dear friends, today I want to take you to the book of Hebrews chapter number 12. And I like to talk about one particular word. The world purposefully wants to make this word looks like a bad word when actually it's the right word. It's a biblical word. The world that will use every filthy profane word in every second words of their sentence even wa uh, would just want to criticize the Bible for this particular word. Worldly people, unsaved people, reprobates people, uh, even people who claim to be Christians would accuse and attack the word of God for this particular word. God knows what is right. God knows exact word what is for exact people. And so God puts this particular word in the word of God. So it's not a bad word. It is the right word for that particular kind of people. All right. It is not a word that is used for anybody and everybody, but it is a word used for people that God is speaking about and against this. I haven't read, uh, I haven't counted how many times the word bastard is used in the Bible. But I think it is about three times, twice in the Old Testament, in Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 2 and Zechariah chapter 9 verse number 6. That's in the Old Testament. And here in the New Testament in Hebrews chapter 12 verse number 8. If there is anywhere more, I would love to know that because I haven't really sat down and counted how many times. In the book of Hebrews, when you read chapter number 12, it's speaking about salvation, speaking about trusting the Lord Jesus Christ, speaking about what Christ has done to redeem man from sin. And it tells about, you know, you should not be rejecting such a great salvation. And if you reject such great salvation, there is no other you know, sacrifice for you. So consider Christ. And then the Bible also says about if you are loved by God, God will chastise you. God will discipline you. And if God is not disciplining you, it's because you don't belong to God. And God uses the word bastard in the Bible. Okay. So let's uh, just go straight into uh, Hebrews chapter 12 and read from verse number 5. I'm going to read fast. You just follow with me. And then we'll stop at verse number 8 as we read later again. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Remember that. You are not supposed to despise God's chastisement. If you are despising God's chastisement, then that is something to be you know, worried about, to be concerned about. The Bible says, And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto the children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Remember, if God loves you, God will correct you. God will convict you. God will chastise you. God will discipline you. He will do everything to pull you out of your wrong ways. He will pull you out of your sinful lifestyle because God has one desire. God wants you to become like him and walk in holiness. God doesn't want you to walk in sinful life like the devil. He doesn't want you to become like the devil. He wants you to be like him. And that's why God chastises us, corrects us, and God will discipline us because he loves us. Verse number seven, if you endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? So if God is not chastising you, it simply means you are not God's child. The very reason God is chastising you, it's because you are the child of God. If you don't have conviction, if the Holy Spirit is not convicting you and you're not repenting, you're not confessing your sin, it simply means you could be not the child of God. You may not be a son of God. Okay. Look at verse number eight. But if he be without chastisement, 
whereof all are partakers, then I e bastards and not sons. There you go. The Bible uses the word bastard. Now the word bastard, the world will say, say oh, it's a very bad word. I mean, just can you imagine worldly people, sinful people uh, who will use all profane words in their mouth want to attack the word of God by using this particular word. But the word bastard is not a bad word. It is a biblical word, biblical word, a truthful word for a particular group of people. God uses exact word. Water downing or sugar coating or manipulating or changing that word has consequences. Because God's children will not change God's word. Only bastards will manipulate the word of God because they don't want God to say as it is. And they will hate the preachers who will preach the word of God as it is and call you unto repentance. The Bible says, Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us and we, have, we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits and live? For they verily for a few days chastened us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit that we might be partakers of his holiness. That's the purpose. Why God chastises us? Why God disciples, uh, disciplines us? Why God corrects us? Because God wants you and me to live a holy life. The word bastard simply means reprobates. The word bastard means unbelievers. The word bastard means people who manipulate God's word. The word bastard means illegitimate son. The word bastard means is used for those who will call God as devil or Satan, who will call Jesus as Lucifer. I mean, just imagine how pervert man and woman today can go stoop so low to call Jesus as Lucifer, God as Satan, to manipulate the word of God for personal conveniences. This is a sign of a unsaved reprobate people who reject the word of God because they love the world and the acclaims and accords of the world. My dear friend, when we change the word of God, God will chastise you. But if God is not chastising you, it simply means you're a bastard. The word bastard is used for reprobates, unbelievers, people who manipulate God's word, people who call Jesus as Lucifer, people who call God as Satan, people who reject salvation are called as bastards because bastards are those who are not God's children. So how to be a child of God? You need to realize you're a sinner and sin will not save you. Sin cannot forgive you. Satan cannot forgive you. And you cannot give up sin and cleanse yourself by your own will. When you understand and realize this, you know that sin cannot save you and forgive you and you don't have the ability to give up sin and cleanse yourself from sin. So you turn to Jesus Christ. And when you turn to Jesus Christ, you turn to Jesus Christ believing that he is able to forgive your sin and cleanse you from sin. Because Jesus Christ is God who became man, came into this world, took your sins upon him and he shed his blood on the cross by dying on the cross for you was buried and rose again on the third day. When you believe this truth and you understand this truth, you believe this truth and you receive the Lord Jesus Christ, you become the child of God. John 1, 12 says you become the sons of God. You become a new creature according to 2 Corinthians 5, uh, 17. You become a regenerated person according to Titus chapter 3, verse 5. My dear friends, God wants to accept you as his child if you will come and receive the Lord Jesus Christ. If you manipulate God's word, reject the word of God, change the word of God, and you call Jesus as Lucifer, God as Satan, and you, and you try to play around, and you reject salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ, then the Bible says, you are a bastard. The word bastard is not a bad word. A bast the word bastard is a biblical word, a right word, used for a certain group of people. Hope that is simple to be understood. So, don't go according to the world. The world always wanted to criticize the Bible because they hate God, they hate God's word. Go according to God's word. And I'm telling you, dear friends, all the modern Bibles are manipulated Bibles. 
Okay, that's why God calls them bastards. That's why God, if you read the book of Revelation chapter 22, God is casting plagues upon their life for changing God's word, adding to God's word, subtracting from God's word. I plead to you, throw away your modern Bibles. Take the authorized version of the Bible, the King James Bible, and read, study, meditate, love it. And if you find it difficult, don't worry. You have the Holy Spirit who will teach you, dear friend. When you find the Bible difficult, then you can always be dependent upon the Holy Spirit. How wonderful is the Lord Jesus Christ for giving us the Holy Spirit to be our teachers. All right? So, don't fall in the trap of the world. Fall on your face at the feet of Christ and say, yes, Lord, and believe the Bible and do according to God's word. Use the King James Bible, believe the King James Bible, because that is God's perfect, pure, inspired word of God. God bless you.